What's up guys, David, AKA Smash Time Strings at Northern Soul to talk to you about this Hammer 900 uh, that I've strung up and is for sale. We'll talk about the head, we'll talk about the mesh, we'll talk about the stringing. And what I hope that you get from this video is learn about this, but also help you figure out how to communicate what you want when you're getting a head, how to pick the right head for you and all that kind of stuff. And so to start off with this, Hammer 900 is the newest in the Hammer line from STX. That is their defensive head. Um, incredibly solid construction. Don't want to get hit by that. Um, it's a pretty similar face shape if you're familiar with the Omegas, but is much more durable than the Omegas. Um, the difference between this and the Hammer 500, besides the upgraded plastic, more sidewall holes, etc., is it has a much more pinched face shape. So if you're a defender that finds that the heads are wider than you like them, this is a really um, great option for you. So as far as the pocket goes, I have put in a nice mid, I call it mid-high pocket um, with String King 4S, really soft mesh, if you're into that. Um, soft mesh leads to the ball maybe having a little bit more hold in it um, and being a little less smooth on the way out as a harder mesh. You can think about um, if you rolled a ball down the bowling alley, how fast it would go, it would go faster than if you rolled it down something soft like mud, but it would hold into the mud better. So there's trade-offs every way you do it, hard or soft, there's good and bad. Um, and so what I like about this pocket that I've done is I think that the ball kind of sits really in the sweet spot of the head um, and it'd be really good for ground balls. What we want with the ground balls is we want to have a pocket that's high enough that if we approach it at a kind of bad angle, as the ball comes in, we can get the ball to sit in there. But also what we want is even when we approach it at a good angle, when the ball goes to the back of the head, it will shoot back to the front and we need enough hold so that the ball doesn't just fly out on you, which is something that I know happens to people sometimes. So, um, Little interesting tidbit on this one is this might be a kind of top string that you're not familiar with. You can see I don't fill this area in, I don't use that knot. And basically the reason for that is to not pull the mesh really wide here so we can have it be softer up here to get a really nice deep kind of channel which goes into ground balls, goes into hold, goes into a lot of things. So if this sounds like it's the right head for you, give it a try, on sale now. Um, pick up this awesome bucket hat with it for all these sunny days in the UK. <laughs> anyway, guys, check this out.